thousands of enthusiasts check out the latest in technology you can wear. But high tech doesn't mean high fashion. Franco Ladata has been an industrial designer for Motorola and Maserati. He says many wearables like Google Glass have been slow to catch on in part because fashion hasn't kept pace with the engineering. Imagine any organism, an animal, a flower. You see the best representation of a mix is a balance between function and form. The difficult part is to create the thing in a way that actually have all the integrators together. So if you go too far in one side, then you're lacking of the other. Another area where fashion meets technology is the virtual try-on market. With Ditto Technologies, I no longer have to head to the doctor's office or the store to get that perfect fit. Slowly turn your head you to your left. To your slowly turn back to the center. Now slowly turn your head to your right. That allows me to save more time so I can look through more glasses to find that perfect fashionable look. Susie Pakchin is a smart fabric designer who helped create this bloom necklace that tracks activity and sleep. She says tech should learn from fashion by avoiding one size fits all. We're in a very early stage, you know, we need to allow for customization both, both on the software end, the functionality end as well, and more importantly on the static end. Pakchin says continued experimentation is vital for wearables to succeed. At the end of the day, I think these concepts will all be distilled down into another type of device. I just don't think we're going to have a tweeting dress, a Facebook dress. You know, we're not going to have a dress for every aspect of our social media. It's a bracelet that measures sun exposure. It features a sheet jewel sensor. But the Expo's fashion show proved that concept isn't far off. IOS app alerts wearers of Headdresses that change colors according to the state of your brain. Sleek purses with Bluetooth speakers and sensor-based drum clothing. Still, the highlight of the show was this programmable dress, which combines style with the ability to light up in response to the music it senses. Mark New, CCTV, Santa Clara, California.